headed south. Hooray! Headed back to trail. Road trip. We just got into Massachusetts. We'll be driving through the night. We got what 15 hours left to go? A little less. <laughs> A little less. <laughs> 14, I think. <laughs> we're up, I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. We're headed to Hot Springs. And then we're gonna take a shuttle from Hot Springs down to the I-40 overpass, underpass. Yeah, where I left off, I walked out of the Great Smoky Mountains to the I-40. There's a little parking area there right before you go underneath the bridge. And then we'll be hiking north. Yeah. And you and you think it's um, so easy to get around. Like, I was up since 5 and you just get, oh, there's so much to do when you're trying to get ready for it going back out on trail like I had my bag there but and all my stuff but then you get fiddling with it next thing you know it's all afternoon you're you know you're trying to pack that bag and try this out try that out try not to forget that oh I got to repair this yeah great it was it was great. crazy plus I got some resupplies together I, we had to do the food for for the trip but also five days for him after I leave him and then I did another resupply that hopefully I'm going to be able to drop off somewhere on the way home on Sunday. Yeah. So I'm trying to plan ahead a little bit and then I'll start sending boxes ahead. Yeah, but very Sooner excited. <laughs> get them ahead much faster than they have been getting ahead. Very excited. Yeah, so then we're going to go, we're going to hike to Hot Springs and then we're going to stay one night in Hot Springs and enjoy the hot springs bath, the hot tub, and then we're going to go up to Damascus and go to trail days for Friday and Saturday, yep, which is going to be really fun, I think. Yeah, it's going to be awesome, <laughs> and, and uh, we're going to be staying just outside of Damascus, but uh, it's kind of a little vacation for us, and I get to spend time with my wife, which is very exciting. Right. Scott says to look at the clouds, because they're pretty. Is it? Look at that. That's yeah. awesome. idea what this bridge is but it's something this bridge new I don't remember I mean, I've driven this road quite a bit back in the day It's 6.30 in the morning. Jen's driving. We just stopped at this convenience store. They have three coffee machines. Only one of them's working. And they haven't got any lids to the coffee cups. <laughs> We're watching the squirrels run the wires. We made it. We're here at Hot Springs. Long night, tired. <laughs> we both got a little bit of sleep. We took turns driving, parked there. We're gonna get a shuttle from Hot Springs um, down to I-40. Uh, shuttle driver's coming to pick us up. Got that all the sleep I drove. <laughs> <laughs> she slept too. <laughs> we split the driving. <laughs> I'm back. And I'm here too. Day 81, transcendent traipsing. That right there is where you come out of the Great Smoky Mountains. Well, you have to walk like a mile after the Great Smoky Mountains to get to here. This is I-40. And right over here is where I had Trail Magic. Um, and some people saw me in a photo there with Trail Magic. And I-40 is right over there. We're gonna walk across that bridge. So it's late in the day, it's noon. And we're gonna get to step in, we're doing a a relatively short day but it's all uphill um, right now we're really low elevation I don't know what it is like a thousand feet 1100 feet it's low 
and we got to go up over a 4,000 footer. Yeah, so we're going up to Snowbird Peak, and there's a tent site up there, Snowbird Peak. Um, and we're, we'll go from there. Cross the bridge. These little AT marks on the bridges right over there. So I had originally planned to be on trail last week, all week last week, and they had atrocious weather down here. Absolutely atrocious. The shuttle driver, Matt, who, who drove us here, said that there were people coming off trail and and uh, just running to the hostel that he he uh, works with. What's that hostel? And he said that people were just coming off trail and running there because the weather was so bad. So actually, I don't, I'm not upset about not being on trail last week. Yeah. A lot of rain, <laughs> tornadoes. <laughs> The uh, water is really high and all muddy. I was like, oh, we can take a nice little road walk to warm up, get broke in. But, nope. We gotta go straight up over these stairs. There's a waterfall beside us. There is a waterfall. Do you need water actually? No, we're all right with water, yeah, right? Yeah, we're good with water right now. All right, mommy. Wow, here we go. Cowabunga. Action. <laughs> Standing Bear, point two, up that road. Well, we're not going to Standing Bear, but I don't know where we go. This way, I guess? We're gonna do this water crossing. Jump the brook. Guess what time it is? Lunch time. Electrolyte time. And we um, we packed out some turkey and, and coleslaw. We had that. We and blueberry pancakes. And blueberry pancakes. Keto, of course. <laughs> With no wheat, of course. <laughs> Gluten free. Yum yum. And little packets of white powder. This is Jen's homemade <laughs> electrolytes. See, these are orange. Well, <clears throat> good day overall. It's, it's warm out today. I don't know if mom nurse says. Thermometer says seventy-one degrees. But it's shady. We're just off the trail. We're just trails right there, but we just set up here on a log. On a, it's a log that's down. But yeah. So here I have some food and then we're gonna step on into our campsite, taking our time. Yep. Everything going good? Yeah, it's beautiful. Perfect day. Scott saw a bear. I didn't get to see it, but I heard it. Yeah, I didn't get it on camera, I tried. By the time I saw it, it was starting to turn and run and it bolted, mm -hmm. bolted. There was just a bear standing right there. And he took off down through the brush. Did you get to see him? Yeah, I saw him clear as day. Oh, I didn't see him, I just heard him crashing through the wood. When he moved, he, he moved, he was sitting right there. Oh. I mean, we were, yeah. we were right there. Yeah. Right coming around the corner. And I didn't see him until he moved, but when he moved, he, Went up on his haunches and spun around and 
shot right down through there. He didn't run far, he stopped. He's sitting right down there looking at us, but I don't, can't see him. He stopped running. But we definitely spooked it. Yeah. Which means that the three hikers that passed us were going to Standing Bear, which I would expect where we were. It's totally different out here with the shade, having the shade out and all the leaves out. It's hot, but the sun's not just baking on me so far. It's just, you're walking in the shade. All this natural shade. There's some bugs out, but nothing too crazy, which is good. I'll probably regret saying that in just a few seconds, but <laughs> so far the bugs have been very manageable. What'd you make me? I made you a turkey and coleslaw and blueberry pancake wrap because the pancake didn't want to bend into a taco. <laughs> it looks yummy. It's gonna be an adjustment to this heat. It's not that hot out today. It's only in the 70s, low humidity, nice shade. It's just <clears throat> first day back on trail. We drove all night. Really tired just from the drive. <clears throat> Here she comes. Whoop, whoop. She's always smiling. I love it. <laughs> She's always so happy. It makes me feel good. I'm a, I'm a grumble puss. She's always smiling. Yeah, I take a break here for another break here. The hill hasn't been that bad. It's just been all up, and it's a bunch of switchbacks. But overall, it's it's not crazy. It's just it's continuous up and first day back on trail. <laughs> up, up, up. Up, up, up. That's what it is. I'm gonna look and far out, find out a water source because I could definitely use some more water. And we're definitely stopping at that, <laughs> wherever that is. Heading to the 81, pitch tent. Um, we've got, I don't know, probably like a mile and a half, two miles to go to the peak. We didn't, we didn't get there. <laughs> we saw this tent site and we just snagged it. Sun setting right over there behind us. Well, we were pretty tired after the long drive. We didn't really have to yeah. stop. We just slept in the car one person drove and the other person drove and that's not the greatest sleep <laughs> yeah and i already took a little nap here <laughs> we sat at the tent and i snoozed for a few <laughs> minutes but we're finishing up dinner and gonna hang our bear bag and that's gonna be a wrap right see ya this thing's a weird looking prehistoric